Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple but proper bump map. All right. So, um, and I'll actually uh, demonstrate how to apply it as well. So I'm just going to quickly open Maya. I'm just going to take a cube, drag that out to something like that, hit 5 for shaded mode. We're going to right click on our object, go to face, going to select that face, right click again, assign new material. Let's take a Lambert. I'm going to go to next to my color tab here, hit my checker box. I'm going to select the file. And in my folder, I'm going to select a brick wall that I found. Okay. And we're going to hit our checker box here. Okay. Now we need to tweak this a little bit because it looks a bit big. So we're going to select that. Create UVs. Automatic mapping. And we're going to go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, right-click UV, drag-click the whole thing, hit E, and we're going to rotate this to 90 degrees, like so. All right. Now, if we go to our renderer and we select the viewport, and if you don't have that, select High Quality Rendering. Okay. You can see that this file is extremely flat, right? There's nothing going on there. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a bump map to apply to this field, uh, this face here, right? So we're going to uh, open Photoshop, file, open. I'm going to look for my uh, brick wall file. Uh, there he is, brick wall. Okay. So this is the exact same file, and I'm going to change a couple of things here. Okay, first I'm going to go to Image Mode and select Grayscale, and that will pretty much take out all the color and turn it into a, a black and white or black, gray and white image. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two: go to Image uh, Adjustments, oops, and go down to Invert. This will pretty much change black to white and white to black. Okay, so it's reversing the information. Now that's important because this information is used to create the depth in the bump map. Okay, and then finally, what we need to do is go to Image Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and we're going to crank up the contrast quite a bit. And the bigger the difference between black and white, the more contrast you get. Okay. Maybe not so much, maybe let's say 80 and hit OK. We're going to save this file, file, save as, uh, let's just call this bump map wall. All right, and save, OK. We're going to go back to Maya. So this is our flat file as we've seen before. Okay, we're going to select that guy, go to face, we are going to, actually we can tweak this a little bit, it seems a bit off, UV texture editor, right click UVs, there's a seam in our file, okay, that looks a bit better. All right, never mind that. Okay, so we've got this. We're going to select this face. We're going to go to the material that we applied before. That's this material. And we're going to go down to bump mapping and we're going to hit that check box. Okay, again, we're going to select file. And we're going to go to the file to tab. And in this folder, we're going to look for the bump, uh, bump map wall that we created. Okay, and immediately you can see a totally different view. And I'll just go to make sure that I'm in viewport here. And if you don't have that, you can do high quality rendering, but if you've got viewport, it's better. And here you see the effect of your bump map. Okay, 
that's a simple and easy way to create a about map file. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.